Ever wondered why fighter jets don't have missiles that fire backwards? It's a puzzling question, isn't it? One that might have you scratching your head. You'd think with all the advanced technology we have today, this would be a no-brainer. But as you'll soon find out, the answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. So, are you ready to delve into a tale of speed, technology, and tactical decisions? Well, strap in as we dive into the world of aviation and missile technology. To understand why missiles don't fire backwards, we first need to understand a little bit about fighter jets themselves. Fighter jets are marvels of modern engineering. Their prime function? Dominance in aerial combat. These jets are designed for speed and maneuverability, capable of reaching Mark II and performing acrobatic stunts that defy imagination. But it's not all about speed. A fighter jet's firepower is just as crucial. Typically, the weapons are forward-facing, designed to strike targets in front rather than behind. This is because the jet's speed often surpasses that of a missile, making rear-firing missiles more of a hazard than an advantage. You might also be familiar with the term dogfighting. This refers to close-range aerial combat between fighter aircraft. In a dogfight, speed and agility are key. A pilot must outmaneuver their opponent, getting behind them to land a successful strike. Now that we have some context, let's delve into the real reasons. So why don't fighter jets have missiles that fire backwards? Well, the answer isn't as simple as it might seem. Let's start with aerodynamics. Fighter jets are meticulously designed to cut through the air with minimal resistance. If you add a rear-firing missile, it would disrupt the smooth flow of air over the aircraft, reducing its speed and maneuverability. Then there's the risk of self-inflicted damage. Imagine firing a missile backwards while you're moving forward at high speed. There's a real danger that the jet could fly into its own missile exhaust or even the missile itself causing catastrophic damage. It's a risk that's just not worth taking. Weight and balance issues also come into play. Fighter jets need to maintain a precise balance to fly effectively. Missiles are heavy, so adding them to the rear of the aircraft could alter the jet's center of gravity, making it more difficult to control. Finally, there's the advancement in radar and missile technology to consider. Modern radar systems and missiles are so advanced that they can lock onto and hit targets behind the aircraft, even when fired forwards. This eliminates the need for a rear-firing missile altogether. So as you can see, the reasons are quite complex and multifaceted. So, there you have it, folks. We've delved into the intricate nature of fighter jets and unraveled the reasons why they lack rear-firing missiles. It's all about aerodynamic speed and precision. Next time you see a fighter jet soaring through the skies, you'll have a little more insight into why it's designed the way it is. Thanks for tuning in.